Sammy, I feel like so many people have been waiting for this day, for your return to the Jersey Shore. So we just got to start off by asking, why was now the right time? Did the stars just finally align? I feel like you just said it right. The stars just finally align. I feel like I'm good and just secure in all aspects of my life now. And I feel like I'm just like, why not go back? I miss my family. I miss my old friends. I miss the experience. I just feel like it was the right time to go back. And I feel that's a beautiful thing because it really is a family and you, of course, can always go back to family. But sometimes it's like you're back with family and you're like, oh, yeah, you can't really choose them. You're with them. How was the oh, totally. How was the reintroduction of that for you? It was definitely nerve wracking because I haven't really spoken to anybody in a really long time. So it was definitely nerve wracking entering a house with everybody again and hoping and praying that they still wanted to be my friend. Yeah. Imagine how awkward that is. <laughs> so but why? I did it. Yeah, did you, you did it. We we saw the premiere episode. We see that Angelina was the one to reach out to you, yes. and she was elated when you texted back, and you were like, "Okay, like yeah, like I'm I'm kind of finally into possibly doing this." Why did you hold off for so many years? Like, why didn't you come back? Because I know there were lots of efforts made on you know production yes. and the cast side to get you back. Yeah, but it, um, I feel like there's a lot of efforts, but it's been years of like silence. And I was just mm. like, do my own thing. I have a lot going on in my own life. And I was like, you know what? When she DM'd me, I'm like, why not? Like, I always like think about them. Like, why not? Why yeah. wouldn't I want to come back? But I think it took Angelina to DM me. Because I don't think I would have ever gone out of my way to be like, hey, guys, can I come back? Like, I don't think yeah. I would have done it myself. It took Angelina definitely to like just ask me and I was like, all right, let me think about it. I think I might do this. Thank I, God for Angelina. I, yeah, totally. she really DM'd me, like it really happened. <laughs> I love that. And then when you kind of were having the first conversations with her too, were there moments where you were like, am I really doing this? Am I really totally. jumping back in the beast? <laughs> I still have those moments. I'm still like <laughs> feeling so like, wow, like hearing I'm talking to you guys right now. I just think it's so crazy. And um, I definitely went into it like, oh my God, what am I getting myself back into again? But it's been really like a whirlwind of fun and it's been really like, it's been the ups and downs you'll see, but it's just been like old, the old days. Like for me, it's like being a part of the old days again. And I mean, speaking of the old days too, like literally right now being at Seaside on the boardwalk where we watched you all those years ago, is reintroducing yourself, like getting back into the show, is it bringing like, are you looking back at like the past stuff differently? Are you kind of like thinking about things like from the past coming back up? Well, it's kind of funny because I did the show when I was 22. Yeah. I'm 36 now, so it's been a really long time. So I know there was drama and craziness yeah. and not all great times for me back then, but I'm hoping maybe this time around will be a little bit different. Everybody has families, everybody has kids, um, and everybody has different lives going on. They're different careers. Like, they're all going in different directions. And I'm, like, just hoping that all goes well this time around. And if it doesn't, I'll just leave again. <laughs> Right. Easy if, as that. If it's not meant for me, then I'll just leave. <laughs> the Uber's ready. There you go. I feel Here's like as a, a massive uh, Sammy Sweetheart fan, I'm excited to oh, see honey. you. <laughs> I'm excited to see you back on the show without the drama and the uh, the, the person who created a lot of the there drama. There's drama there. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. There's always drama with this group, you know. Yeah, but did it did it feel easier or lighter filming this? I mean, I know you had some stuff to unpack with the girls, but there was no relationship drama that you had to deal with, and I'm sure that was maybe a relief. Totally a relief. <laughs> Not like dealing with relationship drama. Like, you have no idea. And um, I think I'm at a different place now. Like, I'm more mature, um, and I just feel like I want to handle situations a little bit more differently than when I was 22 years old, like learning and growing and going through things. I think I'm just at a different place in my life, so I'm entering this in that different place. And because it's like people that you haven't seen in a while, but of course I feel like there's always like when you do have growth, people from your past sometimes they're like, I remember how to poke her. I remember what could set off Sammy. Oh, yeah. Do you feel people tried and you're like, baby, not in 2022, 2023? They've actually, I have to say, have been so welcoming to me right. and like really cool and down to earth. So I'm hoping it stays that way right. and there's not any bad vibes because I, I just, I don't really want to deal with bad vibes. Like, I don't know. I know it happens, but I don't want to, like, deal with it, you know? It seems like you guys really get into clearing those bad vibes from the jump. I know that you had some tension to figure out with Snooki and JWoww. Yes. What can you tease about the way that dynamic will play out on this new season? Um, you're going to see it definitely on the new season play out. But I haven't talked to these girls in a really long time, so... It was kind of like I was coming in there like I know I didn't talk to anybody for a while but I'm not coming from a bad place 
for me, please. I just want to clear the air and kind of hope that they want to move on from it. And you're going to see that all play out on this season and, and their reactions. And you're going to just see it all. And I feel a lot of the drama that they were saying in the first episode about how you like unfriended and blocked and stuff. A lot of it when I was watching, I felt like she's just protecting her peace. She's in a different place. Was that the reason or were you just kind of like, I just really want to break from it? Um, that had a huge like part in it. Yeah. Like I just needed a break from like everything. Yeah. And I just had to like block things and you know, that played definitely a part in it. But you're gonna see that you're gonna see it all. I mean, I feel like there are some people in my life, even some family members who unfollow, then block, then refollow. Family is always just kind of drama. Do you feel like the girls sort of overreacted to you unblock, to you blocking and unfollowing and all of that? Um, no, because I feel like sometimes people block so that you don't have to see things or deal with things. So yeah. that's what I did. It's a coping to mechanism. Could be a coping mechanism, like. I had, sometimes in my life, I know if I'm done with somebody or whatever, blocking is the best way to move on. Yes, right? yes. So I just did that for my own sake and my own life. Um, but I can understand why these girls would be upset because here they're thinking, like maybe they're thinking like we're in a great place and then I block them and they're like, what the hell? So I totally get it. Sometimes blocking can be very immature. So we all make mistakes and- um, Immature or effective, however yes. you look at it. No, sometimes blocking can be immature. Like I, I feel like, uh, nobody's perfect. Like we all make mistakes. We all do stupid things, and um, it's just how you like come out about them now. Where it's like, if people are receptive to you and if they're understanding, then all things will be good. But if they're not, then I they're feel not. that's a perfect thing where you just own what you do and what you are. You're like, yeah, I did that. I'm sorry. Like, I, yeah, I you have to. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I didn't block you. Like, we all know I did. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to own your truth, and that's it. Have you unblocked them now? I have. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, I really adore them. So yes. I have, you know. I feel I, like it was like a little immature, but it is what it is. I'm so excited to see all the girls bond on family vacation because this is the first time we're going to get you plus Adina plus Angelina on camera yeah. together. Oh my God, it's like everybody. Yeah, I mean, how, how does that feel for you to have every single OG cast member, I mean, even Ronnie, participating in this season? Um, it is wild. There's a lot of people, a lot of voices. It's just like a lot. You're going to, it's just like a lot. You'll see. But it feels good. Like it feels like I'm back in like with Angelina from Miami days, or it feels like besties. I'm yes. back with Dina like again from filming here in season. Like it just feels like family. And I was gonna say, how does it feel like all of them are friends, but then you do come right as Angelina had that reunion moment where oh, she's like kind drama. of striking out a little bit with some of the ladies. But I feel like almost you could help. I hope you help her mediate into a better. We're well, definitely with that. gonna see all that for okay. sure. <laughs> you are like you're gonna see all that. But um, for me, it felt like, wow, like I can't believe I went through all these years not hanging out with these people because I came back in it and I felt like, oh my God, like I didn't leave. Mm. Like I never left, like they're my family and they're exactly who they were back then. Like I feel like that, like, oh my God, they're just my family I haven't seen in a little bit. Was there like a specific moment this season filming Family Vacation where you realized, okay, th these, these are my sisters and brothers, we are bonded forever was there sort of some sort of like epiphany that you had I think the first like from the moment I walked in I was like after everything cooled down and it was like I'm here <laughs> like it was a little crazy um that's when and I started to like hang out with everybody that's when I was like oh my god everybody's still the same and they had the same personalities and it's like oh my god I miss these people yeah and what was your like mental preparation before because this is your first time really like miking back up, getting back into it in like over a decade. Like, what was the talks you were having with yourself the night before? It's definitely overwhelming. Yeah. Um, it was a lot. I'm like, wow, you guys like forgot how much like it could be because you have to get mic'd up and you are filming a TV show. Like, it's definitely a lot and it's definitely overwhelming, but it's all good. Like, it's all great things to be like overwhelmed about. But um, I was very ner nervous. I was like, what am I doing? What am I getting myself into here? But um, it feels like I never left. So it feels like I'm still doing what I did in 2009. And how were talks with the man? Was he excited for you? My man is so excited for me. He's so supportive. And, and so, so hot. Cute. Yeah. So hot. Justin. I'll be sure to tell oh my him God. that. Please. Yeah. Please. Please let him know. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's very supportive. Um, he's like, do what you want to do. And he's chill and just really awesome. How did he fit in with the other guys? Because, you know, the guys are such a strong bonded unit on this show. Yeah. Um, I think he fit right in pretty well. He's a meatball, just like everybody else. <laughs> you know, you've seen him. Yeah. So, um, he did really good with everybody. That's so great. Yeah. Now, it's so interesting to see Angelina working on you. We also see in the premiere that Mike has been working on Ronnie. And of course, I think the fans 
are definitely anticipating or looking forward to a potential conversation between the two of you. What can you tell us about how that situation might or might not play out? I feel like you got to really watch this season because um, I never know what's going to happen. Like every day I'm like, what the hell is next? Like mm -hmm. in this house, like there's always something. Um, yeah, but like it's like a coworker at this point. <laughs> like you're going to see that all play out. Right. And there's some coworkers you're like, I guess I'm sitting next to you, but I'm going to talk to you. Like a lot of people forget. Um, I dated him when I was in my younger 20s, 36. I dated multiple people after him. Like I've gone through life. So um, yeah, it's just like a coworker at this point. Did it kind of feel like it would potentially be an easier conversation with Ronnie, knowing that he took some time off from the show to focus on his mental health? He has two years of sobriety under his belt. So, you know, you've, you've changed a lot, but you know, he's changed as well. Did it make you feel like you were in a safer place to have a conversation with him? Um, yeah, like I, I'm personally in a great place. Um, whatever he's doing, as long as it's positive and good, like wish him the best. But yeah, I'm kind of like moved on from that vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that right. vibe. So I kind of do my own thing and like keep it at that. I feel yeah. you've done like a lot of like self work on yourself because you're able to look back at all these situations that have been on TV and been looked at to death and just kind of like look at it in a way it's like, that happened, I survived it, I'm stronger for it, and let me be the woman I am now. Exactly, I feel like um, I feel like I've gone through a lot, and I feel like I've learned a lot along the way, and I think it's all about growth, and just maturing, and living life, and people, like you said, make mistakes, people date the wrong people, like things happen, you, you fight with your friends, like these are just normal life things, mine just happen to be on TV. And what helped you like, maneuver and process to get to a point of that, that is like very much at peace with things, so like anybody watching is like, Sammy, I'm 36 too, and I, I hold, I'm holding some grudges. I'm holding some grudges. <laughs> I think it just is what it is. Yeah. Like you, I, like I can't sit here and sulk back in the like in the past. Like I just take it day by day. We were binging the early seasons of Jersey Shore, both Danny and I, and watching season one, they, they are crazy, but I think that watching through a new lens and knowing how much work you have, you know, yeah. done on yourself, I look at young Sam and like, I'm proud of you. Are you oh, proud of the yeah. way you navigated some situations? Because it, it wasn't easy, but I, I felt like you were you were so resilient at the same time. You know, I don't regret anything at all. I like who I am, and I think that's oh. important. I feel like you need to like yourself. Yes. Um, and I liked myself back then. I just think that I just went through a lot, and you all saw it on TV, and I didn't handle situations the best. Um, maybe I didn't make the right decisions, but at the end of the day, it brought me to where I am right now, and I'm just truly happy and content with myself and where I'm at. Yeah. That's all that matters. How many pairs of shorts did you pack for <laughs> family vacation? Um, I was trying not to wear like shorts because I know I wear like white shorts and lots. I was like, they're I'm iconic. Wear a skirt. Yes. I was like, I'm not gonna wear shorts. I'm doing my best to stay away from shorts a little bit. Shorts and blue dresses. Yes. Yeah. There you go. I'll try my best. You said that you uh, you have no regrets, but do you have any fashion regrets? I mean, looking back on those early seasons of uh, Jersey Shore, I feel like some of those fashions are kind of. The, the styles are coming back. They People are. are dipping back into their Ed Hardy. Oh my God, yes. But I have no regrets. That's what I like to wear back then. And you know what? Sometimes I'm like, oh, that was actually like a cute outfit. Like yes. if I look back and see it, I'm like, all right, I don't mind that. I would wear that again, totally. Is this bikini Ed Hardy? I feel like yeah, it, that is, right? Or maybe some knockoff brand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> head, ar head Hardy. Yeah. yeah, maybe it was like a knockoff. But most. it is crazy looking at that photo. You have like you have like a glow up, like you're gorgeous there, but you are just like you oh, look the so same. You look the same. Hey, it's like insane. Thanks, guys. You're just buttering me up. Over <laughs> no, there. It's so true. Thank you. Yes. You're sweet. You're sweet. The same on the outside, but very different on the inside. But all, you know, still the in same part. Way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In a good way. In a good way. I mean, like, what are you looking forward to fans seeing from you this season? I feel like you're probably involved in so much with so many people. But is there anything that you're excited to sort of relive? I feel like some of the you know, trips, they're, they're, they're so much fun. Some of the girls ain't the bonding. And did you become a dirty stay out? Um, oh. You're gonna see a lot. Um, it just feels good to be back in that environment, having fun with everybody. Um, I really enjoyed bonding with the girls again. That was like a plus off my checklist because I missed out on those friendships for so long. So that was definitely fun. Um, and there's a lot of like surprises in this group, like Ooh. pranks, and I was just like, oh my God. So that's something that I was like, what do you guys, this is what you guys do? Like, what the hell? But um, besides that, everything was like, I think this is the girls bonding with everybody again was like important. I also feel, cause like, it's easy to rally when you're 22. How were the Sammy hangover? Like, what were the, what were the mornings um, after? Cause I this trip still goes hard. 
I try to hang, but these people can still hang like they did back in 2009. The meatballs are still the meatballs. Um, I try, I do my best, but it's definitely harder as you're older, that's all I'm going to say. Do you have a hangover here you try to get for yourself? or No, nothing? I need like three days to recoup now instead of like two hours. No, hangovers in, in your 30s absolutely suck. Yeah. Did you interact with Dren at all? Oh, oh I had throughout the years. Yeah, but did, did, <laughs> yeah. did, you, did you interact again on family vacation? Um, I forgot to try to make it a I think Dren drenched a little bit. Yeah. Not too much, but a little okay. bit. Yeah. How about it? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I, I think Dren's funny. Oh, she's hysterical. Yeah, we Dren's we love funny. a good little Dren. Yes. That nice adrenaline. <laughs> you know? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Now, Sammy, after filming again, how much more do you think you're capable of doing? Will, will you do this forever? I mean, what, what's, the, what's the vibe? I would love to do it for however long. Everybody does it as long as it's positive, on a good note, and we're all having fun. I think that's all that matters. I love it. Well, I think that is a great place to end Sammy's sweetheart. sweetheart. Oh. Yes. You guys are awesome. Oh, Thanks you're for awesome. spending the day with me. Oh, oh my sure. God. Thank we'll you never for leave. having us. No, <laughs> no, literally. I'll come back anytime. I, I'm moving in the arcade. I feel like you guys would fit right in on the show. <laughs>